My friends, divine mercy, Jesus, I trust in you. We trust in the mercy of Jesus. We hope in the mercy of Jesus. For us, we know that this mercy is the greatest attribute of God. And today, being a holy Saturday, we have the second day of our novena of the divine mercy in preparation for the great feast that will be on Sunday, second Sunday of Easter. Jesus Christ is a lover of souls. Jesus Christ does not want any soul to get lost. He loves everyone in this world, and that is why he's calling all of us to come to him. But today specifically, as we bring all mankind to our Lord Jesus Christ, today the Lord wants us to bring particularly, specifically, the souls of priests and religious, so that we may immerse them in his unfathomable mercy. So this is our prayer today. We are interceding for all the priests, all the religious, and we immerse them in the divine mercy of God through the prayer of the day and through the chaplet of the divine mercy. So here we go. Today, Bring to me the souls of priests and religious and amass them in my unfathomable mercy. It was they who gave me strength to endure my bitter passion. Through them, as though as through channels, my mercy flows out upon mankind. So today, my dear people of God, Jesus himself is telling us that the priests, the religious, are specifically channels of his divine mercy. His mercy flows to the entire world through them, especially through the sacraments. When you go to the sacrament of penance, reconciliation with God, you know, the, the grace, you know, the mercy will flow to you, you know, through the priest, through the sacraments. When you go for the Holy Mass, and receive the blessed sacrament you know the grace the mercy of god that is in the blessed sacrament will come to you in fact the holy eucharist the blessed sacrament is jesus himself is the divine mercy when you go to the adoration chapel you'll find the consecrated host that has been blessed by a priest so these souls they are very very important channels of mercy that Jesus uses to reach us, to reach souls. And that's why it is very important for you and for me and the whole world to pray for the priests so that they may remain open, they may receive these graces of God and become true channels of these graces to the whole world. So here we go, let us pray. Most merciful Jesus, from whom comes all that is good. Increase your grace in men and women consecrated to your service, that they may perform worthy works of mercy, and that all who see them may glorify the Father of mercy who is in heaven. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the company of chosen ones in your vineyard, upon the souls of priests, and religious and endow them with the strength of your blessings. Open the souls of priests and the religious and endow them with the strength of your blessing. For the love of the heart of your Son in which they are enfolded, impart to them your power and light that they may be able to guide others in the way of salvation and with one voice sing praise to your boundless mercy for ages without end. Amen. My dear people of God, let us bring today all these priests, the weak priests, the strong priests, and may God's anointing overshadow them. May the blood and water that pours out 
from the most sacred heart of Jesus. Shield them, shield them from the devil and from every evil. So as we do the chaplet of the divine mercy, let us bring all the priests, all the religious men and women and engulf them in the most sacred heart where mercy dwells. Thank you very much, divine mercy. Your mercy endures forever. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us 